events the entire nation takes pride in the recent passage of the women's resolution bill by parliament in this 21st century but it is quite interesting to note that in the earliest part of 20th century itself the significant role played by pioneering women in the affairs of legislature of tamil nadu that is the then madras presidency is highly appreciable and noteworthy in the annals of women's renaissance movement in india in this video i myself confined to just one women personality that is it is none other dr muthulashmi reddy in eradication of social evils and empowerment of women by fighting for various evils such as child marriage and devasadhi system that was yogu in then madras presidency and the part played by dr muthulakshmi reddy in eradication of devasadhi system what is the devasadhi system i explained that the first post narrates the ugliest system of devadasi which was nurtured by upper caste men by making women to undergo a religious ritual at a particular point of time in their age and subsequently marked as a potential concubine this initial ritual and the acceptance of the concubine status qualified the girl for learning music and dance and performing in a public sphere either a patron would choose her or one would be chosen for her by her mother this male benefactor would be granted access to her art which she would they subsequently pass on to her children you would not get that is she would not get the right of her father and the inheritance of her father that is the the most social evil that was part and parcel of tamil hindu religious society what is worrying is that dr muthulashmi reddy had passed a doctorate that is become a doctor in 1912 itself and one of the first women law makers in india and she had introduced a resolution in the then madras legislative council on november 5 1927 so as to make a legislation in eradication of this devadasi system but it had got not it had not received any attention from the great stalwarts like a congress man satyamurthy and uh, satyamurthy stiffly opposed uh, the move made by dr muthulashmi reddy in eradication of uh, devadasi system and uh, he supported that is satyamurthy supported devadasi were the pillars of uh, indian culture and uh, art forms that was the opinion given by none other than the satyamurthy in the madras legislative assembly he supported devadasi system for that question dr muthulashmi reddy in response to satyamurthy's argument dr muthulashmi reddy stated in the legislative uh, council that such a caste was indeed necessary and since the isai velalas that is devadasis had done it for so long why don't the brahmin women take over from 
take over from then on that was the answer given none other by dr muthulashmi reddy in regarding this eradication of devadasi system in the then madras presidency state these arguments had received wider support from all walks of life in the then madras presidency and in the madras presidency it had given a lot of hope for this eradication of this devadasi system by making a legislation in the then madras presidency the final thing is that finally it was abolished in the year 1930 by the sincere efforts that had been made by dr muthulashmi reddy through this video what i want to narrate is that the so called leaders are proclaiming themselves they have made significant improvements in the women's empowerment by making a 33% reservation to women in parliament and state legislative assemblies but in the 20th century itself a doctor by profession and a social renaissance movement leader dr muthulachmi reddy had done a finest part of social reformation in the rituals customs of hindu society to a advanced stage this is my tribute to dr muthulachmi reddy thank you so much